can I effectively do this in a in a really easy and strengths based way? And how can I teach others to do it as well? So one thing that I have done in my clinic is borrowed upon the wisdom of all of you in this room and some others. And I've made um, uh, I've made kind of a it's it's based off of a five two one zero, which is our healthy habits discussion. But this is called CC one two three, and this is talking about um, parenting during adversity and and um, resilience. So the first C is like connections, right? And you guys all know how good it feels like. Even just being in this room with all of you, I feel so connected. It's really like jazzing me up. Um, and then coping it gives you a two second chance to just discuss what parents need for coping. And I love asking parents, what do you need when you're stressed out? I did that yesterday. And one of the moms was like, well, I, I, I don't know. And I'm like, well, what about like, would you like it if your child helped you in the house? Would that help you when you're stressed out? And she was like, yeah. Would you like it if you got some hugs from your child? She was like, yeah. I mean, sometimes people know. Sometimes people have never had anyone ask them that. And of course, we know what children need for coping, especially during times like pandemics is that they need routines, they need the positive rituals that you guys have all talked about that help make your life feel better and happier and more joyful. Um, and then the one, two, three part is really simple. It's take one moment to stop and reflect on what your child is trying to communicate to you, whether it's via their words or via their actions or via their tantrums or whatever it is. Just like, what are they actually saying to you? Why are they doing that? Just be reflective upon them. Don't be reactive. And then the two is two eyes for seeing and two arms for holding. Like we need to feel seen and acknowledged and uh, we need that attunement. And then we need the physical affection often, not everyone. And I'm sure our child abuse experts in the room can tell you that some people don't really enjoy that, but but those who do really need it. And it's okay to ask for that. And that goes for parents. I ask for it. And then three, um, I ask the families to be reflective and say, what are three ways you can show your other loved one that you love them? What are three ways that you can do it? And sometimes if the kid's old enough, I'll ask them and then I'll ask the parent. And then we just get into the conversation of like, how do we be there for each other during times of stress? And it's just an easy way for any pediatrician or family practice or whoever to acknowledge that life is full of stress, whether it's, you know, super adverse, like, you know, deaths and mental health illness and whatever, or just like the everyday stress that we experience. And, and that we can just use the CC123 to do that check-in um, to see where everyone is. And it has been very well received because as you said, people are very, very in tune to stress right now. And they do wanna feel acknowledged and seen.